we are going to revisit the idea of domain of functions. We talked about a lot of function stuff uh, a few weeks ago. And on the test that we had, uh, one specific area that was giving people a lot of trouble was domain. So let's take a look at a function like f of x equals x squared. What is x allowed to equal? Can x be 0? Sure, we can have 0 squared. Can x be 3? We can have 3 squared. Can x be negative 3? Sure, we could also have negative 3. So x, we would say, is all real numbers. OK, so far so good. What if I have another function that's x squared minus 1? Can we go through the same process and figure out what x can or cannot equal? Same thing. Ignore the negative 1 for the moment, the minus 1. x squared is the same. If I take away a number, it doesn't change anything. Right? 100 squared minus 1, is that allowed? Sure. So again, we would say all real numbers. Okay, and we can, we can give plenty of examples of x squared functions. But what about the square root of x? Now, x, can x be 0? Sure, we can have the square root of 0. x can be positive numbers, no problem, but x can't be negative. Okay, so far so good. Now what about if I change it a little bit? What if I have x plus 3 inside the square root sign? Now, what restrictions are there? What is x allowed to equal? Can x still equal 0? Sure, I can have the square root of 0 plus 3. But can x be less than 0? Test it out. Use some logic. What if x is negative 1? Well, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. I can have the square root of 2. What's the lowest x can be? Well, as long as x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, I'm OK. So that means that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay, again, we're looking to use our logic, our idea of what x is allowed to equal. We started out with x squared, x could be anything. x squared minus 1, x could be anything. <coughs> but now when I have the square root of x, things change a little bit. And when I have the square root of x plus 3, things change a little bit more. Now I'm going to give you one more problem. Now I'm going to tell you, what if f of x is equal to three minus the square root of x plus three? Does anything change? Does this three minus change anything? Nope. What's inside the square root is all that matters. x, just like down here, can't be less than negative 3, right? If x is negative 10, we have a problem. But if x is greater than or equal to negative 3, x, then we're in business even with that 3 minus in front. Okay, the next video that I will do is going to talk about range of functions.